Hi. This area is off limits to civilians. I order you to stand down and tell me what you're doing here. Immediately. On whose authority? By the authority of Elder Arthur Maxon, Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood of Steel. Now I'll repeat my question. What are you doing here? Brotherhood of Steel thinks ghouls are all monsters. I, I was hoping to track down the owners of that huge airship. Well, you found us. Is. And since this is a military installation, this is the closest you're going to get to her. I'm no stranger to these installations. My husband was in the military. Really? Well, then you might just be in luck. With your experience, you might actually fit in with the Brotherhood. We're always looking to add a few more brothers and sisters to our ranks. If you think you have what it takes. I'm not... You're not? Tell you what. If you ever change your mind, head over to the Cambridge Police Station and look for Paladin Dance. Maybe he'll be more convincing than I am. I promise you won't regret it. Hey, mind if we talk now? Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, it ain't anything bad. Just you taking care of Bobby. I ain't proud of having to put you through that. That sort of dictatorial shit ain't usually my style. She tried to dupe us both. Dealing with her was the right move. True, but it doesn't change the fact that she's out of the picture because of us. Hell, that sort of bulls the whole reason I became mayor in the first place. Some ass named Vic ran the town for I don't know how long before that. Guy was scum. Used us drifters like his own personal piggy bank. He had this goon squad he used to keep people in line. Every so often he'd let them off the leash, go blow off some steam on the populace at large. Folks with homes could lock their doors, but us drifters, we got it bad. There was one night, some drifter said something to them. They cracked him open like a can of cram on the pavement. And we all just stood there, did nothing. You can't blame yourself. It sounds like you were outmatched. Probably would have killed you too. You're right. But it was still spineless. I felt like less than nothing. Afterwards, I got so high, I blacked out completely. When I finally came to, I was on the floor of the old state house, right in front of the clothes of John Hancock. John Hancock, first American hoodlum and defender of the people. I might have still been high. But those clothes spoke to me, told me what I needed to do. I smashed the case, put them on, started a new life as Hancock. After that, I went clean for a bit, got organized, convinced Cleo to loan me some hardware, got a crew of drifters together and headed out into the ruins, started training. Next time Vic's boys went on their tear, we'd be ready for them. A guy like that only understands one thing. Swift and brutal force. You made the right call. See, I knew you had your head on straight. So, the night of, we all got loaded. Let Vic's boys get good and hammered. And burst from the windows and rooftops where we'd been hiding. They never even saw it coming. We didn't have to fire a shot. We didn't have to. But we sure fucking did. It was a massacre. Once we'd mopped up, we strolled right into Vic's quarters in the state house, wrapped a rope around his neck, and threw him off the balcony. And there I am, gun in hand, draped in Hancock's duds, looking at all the people of Good Neighbor assembled below. I had to say something. That first time I said him, they didn't even feel like my words. Of the people, for the people, was my inaugural address. Became Mayor Hancock of Good Neighbor that day. And from then on, I vowed I'd never stand by and watch. Ever again. Sounds like you had an awfully bloody... Sure did. And if things keep going the way they have, I think we're both in for a nice, bloody future. I just hope you get where I was coming from. I ain't out to bring harm to anyone that didn't earn it. Though I'm getting the distinct idea you got the same plan. Well, you probably heard enough of me running my mouth for one day. You wanna get moving? Are you sure that thing's tame? 